the point P is the intersection of the straight line joining the points Q 2, 3, 5 and R 1, minus 1, 4 with the plane 5x minus 4y minus z is equal to 1. If S is the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the point T 2, 1, 4 to QR then the length of the line segment PS is in this question, first we'll find out the equation of the line QR. Then, we will try to find out the point P, which is the intersection of the straight line joining the points QR and the plane. Then, to find out the length of the line segment PS with the given information, we'll find out the point S. Given the points Q, 2, 3, 5 and point R, 1 comma minus 1 comma 4. So, the equation of the line QR is given by x minus 2 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to y minus 3 upon 3 minus minus 1 is equal to z minus 5 upon 5 minus 4. Solving this we get x minus 2 upon 1 is equal to y minus 3 upon 4 is equal to z minus 5 upon 1. Let us say it is equal to k. So, any point P which lies on the given line QR is given by k plus 2, comma 4k plus 3, comma k plus 5. Given that this point P also lies on the plane 5x minus 4y minus z is equal to 1. Substituting the values we get 5 times k plus 2 minus 4 times 4k plus 3 minus k plus 5 is equal to 1. Solving this equation we get k is equal to minus 2 by 3. So the point P is given by minus 2 by 3 plus 2 comma 4 into minus 2 by 3 plus 3 comma minus 2 by 3 plus 5 which gives us the point P as 4 by 3 comma 1 by 3 comma 13 by 3 Now, we'll find out the point S. Given that S is the foot of the perpendicular drawn from point T on QR. So, point S also lies on the line QR. Let us say it is given by alpha plus 2, comma 4 alpha plus 3, comma alpha plus 5. Given that the point T is given by 2 comma 1 comma 4. So, the direction cosines of the line TS is given by alpha plus 2 minus 2 comma 4 alpha plus 3 minus 1 comma alpha plus 5 minus 4 which is equal to alpha comma 4 alpha plus 2 comma alpha plus 1. Also, the direction cosines of the line QR are given by 1 comma 4 comma 1.
as TS is perpendicular to QR, the sum of the products of the direction cosines of TS and QR will be equal to 0. Therefore, alpha times 1 plus 4 alpha plus 2 times 4 plus alpha plus 1 into 1 is equal to 0. Solving this we get alpha is equal to minus 1 by 2. So the point S is given by minus 1 by 2 plus 2 comma 4 times minus 1 by 2 plus 3 comma minus 1 by 2 plus 5 which is equal to 3 by 2 comma 1 comma 9 by 2. Now we know the point P and the point S. So the length of the segment PS is given by root of 4 by 3 minus 3 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 3 minus 1 whole square plus 13 by 3 minus 9 by 2 whole square. Solving this we get the length of the segment PS is equal to 1 by root 2. So option A is the correct answer.